Hello, in this video, I will walk you through how to set up your HubSpot integration. To begin, you will want to be in the account screen. You can access this by clicking on the user icon in the top right corner. A drop down menu will appear and you can select account. In the account view, you will scroll down to the section labeled integrations. Here, you will click on the one labeled HubSpot. After clicking, a pop-up will appear to set up the integration. You will want to log in and choose the correct account to connect. In this case, I already have the authentication set up. Once loaded, another pop-up will appear and you want to click on Get Started, where you'll be directed to the company mapping screen. Here's where you can select the fields you wish to map to in HubSpot. The names should be similar to the ones that already exist in your HubSpot CRM, and you can simply type them in the search to locate the correct field. If you do not select an option, Grata will not map any data to that field. Grata only requires that you map the company name and domain field. Domain can be also referred to as a company's website. This is simply because Grata matches on a company website to make sure it is not creating any duplicate companies. The other fields are optional if you wish to pull the data into HubSpot or not. If you look to the right of the fields, you will see the option to replace values. If you toggle this on, whenever there is already existing data for that field in your CRM, Grata will simply replace that value with Grata's most recent data. Otherwise, if you keep it toggled off, Grata will not replace the value. Please note for blank fields, you do not need to toggle on replace values. Grata automatically fills in blank fields as long as the fields are mapped. Once you click Next, it will take you to the contact mapping, where again, you can select the appropriate fields you wish to map to. The only required field is Name. You can select either Name or Full Name as an option. Grata will automatically split it out into first and last name in your CRM. Then click Next in the bottom right corner, where you are taken to Sync Preferences, here you can toggle on status sync. This simply allows you to view which companies already exist in your HubSpot in Grata. We do not pull any of your data. Again, we are simply matching on the company's website. If you have access, you can toggle on the second option, which is the auto updater. This allows for whenever Grata syncs a company. Going forward, we will automatically update the company whenever we have a new data point. You can also choose to enrich companies and this will enrich any existing companies in your HubSpot CRM with Grata's data and continue to keep the data fresh. Please note, it does use export credits. If you do not have access the, to the auto updater, the toggle will be grayed out. If you are curious about getting access, please reach out to your customer success manager. Click next and then click start searching. Now your CRM is all set up and you can begin syncing companies. There are multiple ways to go about syncing companies. You can sync an entire list of companies by simply clicking into the list, going into the list and then clicking on the export button in the right corner and clicking on sync with HubSpot, where you'll be given the option to do companies only or companies and contacts. You can also sync individual companies. If I go to a company's profile, I can click onto that company and I can click on sync in the top right corner and click sync with HubSpot. Again, a pop-up will appear for companies only or companies in contact. In this case, I'm choosing to sync just the con company data and not the contact data. And then I can go into my HubSpot and see that the data for this company has been updated. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to your customer success manager and they will help with your CRM setup.